Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So first up I'm just going in with a makeup remover just to ensure the face is nice and clean before priming. Um, for primer I'm using the Benefit Professional Matte Rescue and I'm just applying that all over her face with a small stippling brush. Then I'm going in with the MAC, no I was going to say Studio Fix, Fix Plus Spray just before foundation. And the foundation that I used was the MAC Studio Fix in NC37 and just placing it on her face first before blending it out with a damp beauty blender. Then taking the best concealer ever, the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 10 Light and just using that to highlight and conceal her under eye area and then I go to place it on her chin, Cupid's bow and then down the bridge of her nose and a little bit on her forehead and then I just blend it out again with a damp beauty blender. Then I'm taking some of the Laura Mercier translucent powder just on the same beauty blender and just packing it underneath the eyes to set the concealer. Then using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Brow Palette, I'm taking the shade Soft Brown and really lightly filling in her brows. I hate touching Brooklyn's brows because they're literally perfect so I just only really fill in the really sparse areas. And then I go ahead to conceal underneath them just with the same Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in light. Then for eyes, first up I'm going in with Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek and using that in her crease as a transition shade. I'll leave everything that I use down below um, in case you forget. Then going in with Makeup Geek Cosmetics Frappe and I'm also placing that in the crease just to make it a little bit more defined. Then going in with Coco Bear and really concentrating this in the crease socket just because we're going to be doing a cut crease so I want most of the colour, um, the darker colour I mean, to be in the crease. So I'm just adding product and then blending it out. Then to cut the crease, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in light again. And as you can see, I am literally just cutting the crease. So if you can't find your client's crease or even your crease, just open your eyes first and then literally just draw a line above where your crease is just so you can make a like make the illusion of like a bigger crease area, if you get what I mean. Um, so hopefully... Just by watching, you can learn. So, and then I'm just connecting that up to the end of the eyelid. It's probably easier for you guys to just watch than me try to explain because I'm so bad at explaining things, but yeah. Then taking Anastasia Beverly Hills Single Eyeshadow in a fudge. I'm just using that on a pencil brush to define the crease. So... I'm just applying that just above the cut crease area and then I go ahead to apply Max Tan Pigment which is literally like one of my favorite pigments at the moment. It's like a gorgeous rich rose gold color and yeah I'm just literally placing that all over the lid.
Then taking the NYX Glam Liner in Aqualux. I can't remember what shade it's called, but it's like a rose goldy type color. I'll leave the shade down below for you guys, but I'm just literally going just underneath the cut crease. I don't know, I've seen heaps of photos and videos on Instagram with this kind of makeup style and I thought I would try it out and I really, really like how it turned out. So I'm just literally going straight underneath the crease. And then I'm just wiping off the excess bake underneath the eyes. Then going in with the Astralis Fresh and Flawless Face Powder in the shade Medium Tan and just using that to set the rest of her face. Then taking the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in black to use for the wing. So I like to map out the wing first and then I go ahead to line the top lash line. I have a video on how to do um, winged liner on my channel if you're interested. So yeah, I'm just doing her wing. And then for bronzer, I'm using the Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer and just using that on an angled brush and just bronzing up her face. Then I'm taking Frappe Single Eyeshadow by Makeup Geek and using that to use to smoke out her lower lash line. And then I'm just using some mascara to coat her lashes. She actually had eyelash extensions on. So yeah, she allowed me to put some mascara on just because of the fallout from the pigment. Um, I usually do put mascara on with people with eyelash extensions. I just think it looks 10 times better. And then to contour her cheekbones, I'm just using Hula by Benefit. And then I lost the footage of me putting the um, Maybelline Eye Studio in her waterline. So I did that and then I'm just using Fudge by Anastasia Beverly Hills to smudge out the lower lash line. Then I'm taking the Anastasia Ultimate Glow Kit and just using those two first shades to highlight her inner corners. Oh my god, the best. And then I'm also using that to highlight her cheekbones as well. For lipstick, I'm using MAC Whirl, and for lip liner, I used um, Dried Cosmetics Sure, but it was all out of focus, so I didn't put that clip in. So yeah, I'm just applying Whirl by MAC. It's seriously like the best dark nude color ever. I love it so much, and it suited this eye makeup look so perfect. I loved it. So then I'm just spraying the face with some Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and that is the final look done. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I loved creating this look. I'm obsessed with cut creases now. I really want to do heaps more glam looks like this so please comment down below any suggestions and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.